Welcome to Cinema Espresso. I am Seth Robbins. And I'm Matt Meyer. And today we are reviewing The Man from Uncle. We are. Um, starring Army Hammer. It's kind of a remake from the old. Right. There's an old TV show called The Man from Uncle that they started, um, I guess, which is really, if this is a Guy Ritchie yeah. film. Who uh, came, made, he made Sherlock? He made some old British movies, you know, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, Snatch, um, which really, you know, Brad Pitt was in Snatch. Yeah, he was great and uh, great. There's been a couple of movies, you know, kind of like Fight Club, where Brad Pitt's just great. Uh, a, a role that really fits in Snatch was one of those. But same movie, same director, uh, same writer. I think he helped he, write he the Man from Uncle yep, as well, with the same guy who wrote Sherlock. And uh, and I really, honest to God, I really enjoyed this movie. Really, I did. Uh, but I like Guy Ritchie. Right. I think he. I think this movie is high on style and high on style. And, it's almost like watching right. TV Land, right. like it, an it, episode of. It is, and it's it's low on <laughs> substance, but it's it's a, a nice late summer sort of action flick that doesn't really mean much. It isn't going to go very far. Uh, I'm not a fan yeah. of either of the two stars. Uh, Hank Cavs or Henry Cavill, as they call him. Yeah, Superman. Today. Yeah, Soup and uh, Army Hammer, who we last saw. The Lone in Ranger. The, the incredible film. I think Oscar nominated uh, Lone Ranger. Um, uh, wasn't that movie called Tonto? I think it, I think it should have been. At uh, the least, it was or, a Tonto movie that yeah. had Army Hammer as a Lone right. Ranger. Right. Well, he couldn't he couldn't really hold down the lead in that movie. I mean, he was against Johnny Depp, but he, he was also really J. Edgar either. Hoover's boyfriend in J. Edgar. Surprise! <laughs> right. Spoiler alert. I think the thing that he has best going for him is that he is actually of Russian descent. So maybe that's how it works out. He maybe. wasn't. Oh, he was. Yeah, yeah. Army he, Hammer was yeah. the Russian guy. Right. Yeah, I, I really like Sometimes. Liked, I mean, it was sort of an American accent for about half the film. But mostly he was uh, Russian there. You know, the funny thing, if I had a gripe about this movie at all, um, it was the two stars. They weren't bad at all. Um, you know, Henry Cavill, Cavill, Cable, is different in this <laughs> than he is in uh, Superman. Right, they actually it's completely role. different. Almost to the point where it's shocking when you start... This movie started... And I didn't know how to receive it because he is so different um, and kind of like an old... I, I thought they could have fared better with, you know, maybe a, a Pierce Brosnan Well, they probably type. would have fared better with the original casting, which was George Clooney before he backed out. George Clooney probably would have been good. But he, was a, he, um, he might be a little bit too old to do that now. I don't know. I, th th George Clooney could have made that thing work. Right. Um, and I'm not sure why he backed out. I didn't like really go full. Not not that out. Henry was bad at all. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, he didn't disappoint me. If I had to gripe about this movie, it would be it's a little you know the story is kind of jumpy, it's kind of choppy. That's kind of the way he makes his movies though. So yeah. I, I can't really you expect that going in. If you've seen Sherlock, right. you expect his movies to be kind of jumpy. If uh, Mission Impossible would have been better than it was, I would have been more disappointed in this film. Yeah. But since it wasn't so good, eh, yeah. they're, they're kind of about the same. And this is really, it gave it was birthed out of, let's do uh, 60 spy shows and turn them into movies. So it really is a derivative it's of good. Mission Impossible. It's good. It's a good movie. You know, it's it's an old 60s spy uh, show. It's, it's pretty yeah. good. Uh, the dialogue's good. Um, the the pacing was very, you well, know. The, that's what Guy Ritchie is great at. Yeah, he, get, he gets things moving. He doesn't slow down. He doesn't overwhelm you with style, but he get, it gives a good style, right, to it. So if I had a gripe, it would be the two actors could have been interchanged with somebody. In other words, they didn't stand out as saying those right. two were the only two that could have made this movie. Right. But I thought they were. I thought the. I'll tell you what. The the two female yes. roles in this movie, especially the villain. In this movie, who is I, I don't know her name, uh, blonde headed girl. I probably should know her name. <laughs> probably should just because you're reviewing. No, she was also in uh, Great Gatsby. I think that's where she kind of made her. She big splash. is great in this movie. Right. Uh, you really buy her as the villain, and so uh, she really, for me, um, uh, Hugh Grant was great in this movie. I haven't seen him. I thought he was dead. Right. I hadn't seen him in years. But he's doing all right. Yeah, and he was great in this movie. So a lot of the bit parts, um, as opposed to the two stars, they really supported the two stars in this and really right. made the movie right. a little better than... I, I think you're been. using the word stars a little bit liberally. Yeah. I think they were the people with the biggest parts that the story was about, but they're not stars. That's neither right. Of them really stand they out. They didn't stand and out. And neither of them have really ever stood out to me in anything. Right. I mean, Superman, it's the costume that stands out. 
That's um, right. So and the you know the little lock of hair or something, but not not necessarily it was Tonto who stood out, not Army Hammer. Right. Though so, uh, I guess maybe when Army Hammer played uh, the Billy Graham early years. Uh, really, I yeah, didn't know he did that. Look that up. Uh, he, he did pretty well, and he was. He was uh, great in as the twins in oh, uh, Social Network, social the Wink Labas twins or whatever. Yeah. He was fantastic. So there was a lot of hope for him, but he didn't seem to. He hasn't really seemed to progress past that. So I, hopefully, he's got something else in him to get there. Um, this movie didn't really make a star of either of them, though they're already you know top build kind of people. Um, I would hope uh, that if there are sequels, and let's face it, it's Hollywood, there will be that they will move on and get something even better. They'll get better storylines, maybe have a little bit more depth of character. Yeah. But for a entry into the world of TV-turned-movies, this isn't so bad. Yeah, if I were going to give this a, a grade, it, it would be somewhere in the B, B yeah. minus, you know, three and a half out of five stars. Yeah. Uh, definitely worth seeing. Definitely a fun movie. Um, you know, if you're not a Guy Ritchie fan, this is a good introduction to how he makes his movies. Then you can go back and watch Sherlock, the actual, the Sherlock really Holmes movies, which are yeah. great with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, so definitely go see it, yeah, uh, and don't not? forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram and our uh, website. We have one of those. It's called CinemaSpresso.com.